For most people, buying and selling a house is a major financial decision and have hired a licensed realtor to protect their interest. But how do you know your realtor is any good? Today, I'm talking about signs you may have a bad agent and what you should do if you think you have one. I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm here every single Monday with a new video to help you make smart decisions when buying and selling a house. And I invite you to hit that subscribe button and the little red bell too. That way you'll be notified when my next video is published so you never miss a thing. Are you thinking about buying a house? And if so, and especially if this is your first time, how do you know that your real estate agent's any good? Here's my top three signs that you may have a bad real estate agent. A buyer's agent's responsibility is to find you your ideal home based on your budget. They also need to take the time to listen to your needs and educate you about the local market. Once you've found the right house, they negotiate a great price and negotiate the terms for you and educate you about the entire buying process. And most importantly, they need to keep you in the loop so you never have to ask What's next? Sign number one, you may have a bad buyer's agent, communication issues. One of the most common complaints that home buyers have about their real estate agents, they can't get in touch with them. You call, you text, you email, and you wait. And still there's not a timely response. This could be detrimental, especially in this hot housing market. Poor communication will cause you to miss out on the opportunity to purchase that home that you really want. Sign number two, that you may have a bad buyer's agent. Granted, it takes a high level of professional confidence to walk a buyer through probably one of the most expensive purchases they'll ever make. But that doesn't mean your realtor cannot forget who's boss. You are the boss, period. Any agent who pressures you into buying a house that isn't right for you or much more than what you want to spend is more interested in their commission than helping you find the perfect home for you and your family. Sign number three that you may have a bad buyer's agent. <coughs> On the flip side of this, is your agent only a yes man? Meaning, do they always seem to agree with your apprehensions? and never offer you any honest, solid advice, you want an agent who will give you honest advice based on research and experience, even if they know that you may not like what they have to say. And there's constructive ways these things need to be said. Your buyer's agent does not have a license to be a jerk. No matter how many questions you have or how basic they may seem, your agent needs to be patient enough to answer every single one of them without throwing a bunch of jargon at you. And you've got to be able to trust your agent to act professionally on your behalf. Simply put, you don't have to put up with an arrogant, condescending, or just plain rude agent. Your agent should have the patience of a teacher and the negotiating skills of a lion. If you're nodding your head right now or red flags are going off, it's time to get a new agent. What if you're a homeowner and you're thinking about selling? A great listing agent will educate you about the local market and help you set the correct price. They take care of all the marketing and make sure that only qualified buyers see your home. They give you tips on staging your home and making sure that your curb appeal well is appealing. And finally, they should be experienced expert negotiators. Here are four signs that you may have a bad listing agent. When thinking about selling your house, you may ask around about hiring a realtor. Well, your cousin just got their real estate license and your uncle Gary has convinced you to give your cousin the listing. To give him a break. Epic mistake. Not because of the family ties, but because an inexperienced agent simply does not have the industry contacts or even the know-how to go through the selling process. Missing one little deadline could easily cost you the sale of your home. Plus, you need an experienced negotiator, both for the sales price and also to handle repairs after the home inspection has been done. You cannot fake experience. Sign number two that you may have a bad listing agent, poor marketing. Your agent's job is to attract buyers for your home. 
that does not mean just put a sign in the yard and put the listing in the MLS. That's known as post and pray. That's when they post a sign in your front yard and pray someone buys it. I'm a big believer in the power of prayer, but I also believe in marketing and hard work. Ask to see your Realtor's marketing plan and make sure you understand why they chose some marketing methods over others. If your Realtor is any good, they'll be able to fully explain why they do or not do certain marketing strategies without sounding like they're handing you a line of <coughs> sign number three that you may have a bad listing agent, misplaced priorities. Realtors work on commission and it's easy to figure out. If the house is more expensive, the bigger the realtor's paycheck is going to be. This should never come into play in the way that an agent represents his or her clients. Are you feeling that your agent is treating you as a lesser client just because of the price point of your home? Is there a lack of communication? Are they showing up late for appointments? Is there a lack of patience when answering your questions? And here's a big clue. Are they pressing you to drop your asking price without giving you any evidence to support why? A good listing agent will show you recently sold listings, listings that you're competing against. If any of these things are ringing a bell about your current realtor, that's a major sign that something just isn't right. Sign number four, you may have a bad listing agent. Nothing's happening. Real estate is a results-based business. If there's been weeks with no calls, no showings, no interest whatsoever, it's time to have a coming to Jesus talk with your agent. In this meeting, you need to make it crystal clear that you expect timely reports and communication. Even if there's nothing to report, if they don't, or they say they will, and the problem persists, stop wasting your time with the wrong agent. By the way, if your home is not selling in this hot seller's market right now, chances are it's not your agent. It's your pricing. So what do you do if you have a bad real estate agent? You've tried speaking with your agent. You haven't had but one, but had several coming to Jesus meetings, and they're still not coming around. It's time to cut them loose, but you have to be careful. Read your contract. Typically, there is a defined expiration date. The first thing to do is speak with the agent's broker and ask them to let you out of the deal. If the situation merits, brokers always want to maintain goodwill in the community. If that doesn't work, you may have to get a lawyer involved. But if your agent has any integrity whatsoever, it shouldn't come to this. In the meantime, you can start interviewing a replacement. Above all of this, choose a realtor that cares more about you and your family than they do about their commission check. I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. And until then, I'll see you on the next one.